We look at the Pocket Radio real estate agent. Chief learned from the registration that the agent is single-handedly raising a daughter while also dealing with a ton of work pressure. The mysterious voice lurking in the shadow is trying to break him down with this. As Minya deepens the energy of the agent, uh, Dean has become completely drained from this world, almost turning him into a lifeless form, but Chief tries to encourage him with the last bit of strength. Hmm. How very nice of him. Uh, let's look at this. Fanatic fan in the world, yeah. Oh, the fanatic fan is still out there. You see, Kent hold back again, wandering around with his backpack. He's mumbling to himself. The eyes on the screen are bloodshot from working over time. Work, work, Nino. Uh, what is Nino? Uh, work, uh, Nino. Some. Oh, Nino. Some. Oh, this is the guy who's chasing her. Worried that he might do something harmful to Nino, you quietly follow him. To your surprise, Nino's live game show starts playing on the big screen by the uh, screen, whatever. On the screen, Nino is using her powers against each of the big screen, hitting them hard. Seeing this, the previously downbeat Kent Holdback straightens himself up as if a spark has, begun, has been reignited in him. It's Nino. It's Nino someone. Uh, Nino someone. Look at me. Uh, Kent Holdback suddenly raises his phone and starts typing frantically on the screen. You can see every live chat in Nino's live stream room, including Kent Holdback's. Captain Kent Holdback gives Nino Sama 999 love letters. Uh, Kent Holdback gives Nino Sama one battleship of true love. Nino Sama is the cutest live streamer in the world. Today is another day of loving Nino Sama. Today I finally get the chance to go to Nino Sama's live streaming. This is way too cool. From the side, a person who is just as crazy suddenly jumps out, hugging him and shouting. The damn boss makes me work overtime every day. He made me miss Nino Sama's fan meeting today. Poor bro, really, I feel for ya. What's the point of keeping such a boss? Might as well just fire him. The audience's comments trigger can hold back. He immediately dials a number on his phone. As if holding back a second longer would affect his resignation. Can hold back bellow so loudly that you can hear him clearly, even from a distance. Listen here, you good for nothing boss. I'm done serving you. I quit. I've had enough of your fancy schmancy project plans. Go devise them yourself, fucker, <laughs> bastard, or whatever. I'd rather work odd jobs than earn the meager pennies you offer. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. I want you to be. I want to be with Nino Sama my whole life. Kent Holdback finishes venting and hangs up on the phone in satisfaction, then goes back to staring obsessively at Nino's live stream on the big screen. Nino Sama. <laughs> You know, we must be together forever. Ah, uh, this is too crazy. Our young people nowadays all fanatic fan. I thought he said fanboys, fanboys and fangirls. You, how old is he? Well, technically he's two years old because his memories got wiped. Let's look at that. It's definitely in here. Yep. In the third world, all the did I read all these? Uh, a fanatic fan who has been assimilated by this world and whose head has turned into a computer screen seems to be a diehard fan of Nino. You didn't encounter him in the first world. Forced to work over time, the poor guy missed the chance to attend Nino's greet and greet and regarding this, you feel a certain particular sympathy towards him. In the third world, all the alien-headed creatures were swallowed by the fervent feeling, but Kent Holbeck still held his love for Nino, showing remarkable persistence. So, all the alien creatures were swallowed by fervent feelings. Okay. Let's look at which one, which one, which one. I'm gonna go with God of All Machines. You see the ear TVs on the side of the road again. The scream seems to be odd as we're being heavily interfered with. Mortal, you have finally arrived. Do you still want to know about the rules of this world? Please tell me. The rule of this world is that there are no rules. Go do with that what you need to do. However, you can't stop her. Remember, my name, my real name is Hashtag 404. Oh, like not found? Hold on. Is it possible to write that? Hashtag 404. You hear a burst of interference on the phone. The noise becomes increasingly piercing as if countless machines are screaming at the same time. You quickly hang up the phone. Huh. You could type that. Let us look at this. What do we got? Ready program. Well, the last episode of Dead Lover Radio mentioned my show. I'm so very happy. I'm a diehard fan of Love and Little Daisy. To thank you for your support, my listeners, this time I'll tell you a story about a prophecy a typewriter. A friend of mine told me the story. It said that this old typewriter has existed since the establishment of this city. What amazing! What's amazing about this thing is that it's a prophecy typewriter. Everyone can ask the typewriter three questions about their future. The typewriter will type out the answer to these three questions for people to see. It is said that as long as the prophecy is made by the typewriter, it will always come true. So this typewriter has become a highly sought-after item for syndicate gangs 
gangs, east side nobles, and even big wigs in Paradiso. Some say that Hyperdrive was destroyed in the Syndicate gang wars, but who knows, next time you see an old typewriter, why not ask it a few questions? That can also be very scary. I didn't like the sound of the fucking typing, dude. I might not be able to finish it today, but hopefully... Man, I still need to edit and re fucking render a video because I don't have a video uploaded for tomorrow. Should I do it tomorrow or should I do it today? Fuck me. Uh, you know what? I'll do it t today. Uh, I can't be holding back and accidentally miss a day. Alright, I'll see you uh, whenever I see you. Handheld game console. Let's see what the third game is. The first one was uh, Pokemon Red. The second one was the Law one, which I've never played. So that's why I failed in that. We'll start with this one. In all the game console for your pocket, affected by the mania in this world, the skin screen flickers and flickers and changes rapidly, displaying various distorted and eerie images. Is it recording properly? I just started recording, so I'm kind of in the you know jumpy mood as a fucking let's player. Like, oh man, is it recording? Because I really dislike losing data. Yeah, that is one of the things. Like, I've lost like over my course of the entire channel is probably like a day 24 hours worth of uh, footage at least i've been doing this for a while now but whatever you can't help but recall a game you've played before no matter if the world was collapsing or the dreadlord was arriving the main character always had to play a round of disc chess before the oh this is horrible i'm i i've not played chess since i was a child and even then that was the wrong form of chess i could even say go as far as to say i don't actually know how to play chess so you smile and put the games also back into your pocket okay so we're not playing so that's at least good fish brain in tall tank whatever the in the tank the goldfish swims literally in the computer as if it had, it had anticipated your arrival ah you're here i assume you're here to find the voice in the radio and that beautiful lady right go do what you must do whether you succeed or fail this is probably our last encounter you nod bid farewell to the philosopher goldfish and hear its voice from behind as the ancients said, having heard the truth in the morning, one can die without regret in the evening. I've had three days of wisdom and I'm very content with that. Wow, these people are seriously okay with dying. Like, I thought since they got consciousness, they would be more up for like holding on to it, not wanting to die, but they seem fine. Having heard the truth in the morning, one can die without regret in the evening. Though I prefer being a philosopher more than being a goldfish, please get this world back on track. You try hard to move your body. Your hand has reached the door of the phone booth, but you can no longer support yourself faint on the street. Right then? Well, that's problematic. But whatever. Crimson Wall, you have trudged wearily in the world filled with mania and collapsed next to the phone booth. Finally, the ring of the phone wakes you up again. Hmm. You've got a nice voice too. One that makes your listeners happy. If you want, you can do it too. Uh, I remember now. I think she said that. But my voice, the one she's praised, can only be lost in the voices of those people, in their demands. It's okay. We found it. The voice I want most. It's him. I've always known it, from the first time I called him. The most important, authentic voice that I've lost and longed to retrieve is a gentle and beautiful voice. It's the one you've always used with me. In the darkness, the ringing of the phone pinches your, pinches your nose. Ooh, this time it's red. First time it was blue or pink, second time it was purple, and now it's red. That looks pretty cool. Relatively, re reflexively, you open your eyes wide and breathe shallowly. Are we inside? We were outside, didn't we? The violent heartbeats in your chest almost drown out the ringtone. Pick up the phone. Hello? My dear. Finally, we get to meet you. A cold voice from the receiver tickles your eardrum, shivering all over, you immediately drop the receiver and walk out of the phone booth. Why? 
The sky is covered in a hue red as the sh hue red as the shackles completely shrouding the streets of the east side. The atmosphere is even more unsettling than the previous two worlds combined. Strange voices, strange noises whisper in your ears carelessly, ceaselessly echoing in your mind. Hue red as the shackles, huh? 